Okay, so what do you love about Orca Media? I love that it's here in the community and it gives us grassroots people access to the airwaves. Um, and also uh, learning about media and learning about the cameras. And uh, it has just been a wonderful experience for me. And um, I really appreciate being able to come here and, and learn how to produce. And uh, I got a series going on right now. Well, that's awesome. Yeah, it's called Moccasin Tracks. And I've been um, a volunteer radio broadcaster at community radio stations for about 13 years. And doing video and learning about um, the TV and cable network has been like the next step for me. So I've been trying to use them both, you know, because the technologies overlap with Zoom and Internet and all kinds of things that we can use and put together to really make some interesting um, videos. Just kind of out of curiosity, um, if you could make any TV show, really any genre, any budget, about anything, what would it be? Um, I think, you know, I think what we're missing here in town are shows about um, movies. That would be great, like a show that, that critiques movies, um, new movies, old movies, movies in the past, and kind of show clips of those movies. I would like to see a show like that. And then I also think I, I would like to see more shows about art, specifically music. Like, there's a lot of musicians in Vermont. I would like to see shows that have that interview musicians to talk about their their creative process, mm -hmm. have them play a song or two, and kind of get to know what our local music scene is. That's kind of what I would like in terms of a show. Yeah, like generally about like the creative process and where people find inspiration. That would be great. I mean, again, we have so many good artists here in, in, in Vermont that, that work in different mediums. And to have people talk about their work and to be able to see their work, I would, like, I would definitely see a show like that. I would love a show like that. That would be great. Yeah, it would. Thank you. Well, thank you for your time. Hi. And um, when have you used Orca Media in the past? We've been using Orca Media for many years. We've been watching avidly shows like Democracy Now! and Gay USA. And uh, we've been fortunate enough to be doing a show here for six years that was inspired by Gay USA and actually was Linda's idea. So the show is all things LGBTQ, and we talk about uh, local issues, national issues, and international issues having to do with the LGBTQ community. That's awesome. Yep. And we have a second version of the show that air, we air weekly now. And one week we do interviews with people uh, locally, nationally, internationally who are making important contributions to our LGBTQ communities. Uh, that's, that's super cool. Um, yeah, so what do you love about our community? Just like kind of in general, what's a couple main things that you love about it? I love that it's uh, accessible and that, you know, you can have an idea and if it flies, you can do it. Um, and you can be creative and uh, enjoy what you're doing. So I really appreciate that about Orca. First, what do you love about Orca Media? Like, what do you enjoy about just it being here? Um, well, Orca is uh, a way to give people voice and an opportunity to uh, create and culture in a way that's not corporate distributed. Awesome. Yeah, so, okay, this, this question is a bit more broad, just a bit, just have fun with it. Um, what if you could have one show just produce one show one movie one some sort of film production out of any genre with any budget any talent anything what would it be uh just came to mind like a like a road trip show like uh maybe going from state to state and visiting all the access centers because some states have robust um uh infrastructure for community media and other states they're they're the way their states, their state houses have voted, have just dried up the funding. So you go to some states and they'll they'll have like what was once this um, functioning media infrastructure, uh, community media infrastructure is now just like the skeleton of, um, and like just actually getting on the road and meeting um, people who are part of those all of those different worlds. That would be a lot of fun. And like That'd be really camping cool. out. Maybe get like a uh, camper and uh, just tooling around. Well, 
I like that it is here for us as a community. You can walk right in, you can uh, request to use their equipment. There's people that will be willing to help you uh, do that, show you how to do it. Um, I feel like there is uh, people that are really available and, and easily uh, communicative with the public. And I think that's a really great thing. Well,